The original Tahere Tiki Tiki Tuatahi was built in the 1820s for Paura Tuhaere, chief of the Ngāti Whātua, and was made in three sections from Kauri at a site on the upper reaches of Auckland Harbour. The name Tahere Tiki Tiki means the warrior's crest, an allusion to the old custom of hairdressing by making a knot high on the head. Tahere Tiki Tiki Tuatahi was kept in a raupo shed on the Orake foreshore as the taonga of Ngāti Whātua. It was given to King Tāwhiao by Ngāti Whātua after Tuhaere's death and passed on to Mahuta who became king when Tāwhiao died in 1894. On the Waikato it was used as a royal barge and in 1906 was paddled to Christchurch to appear in the New Zealand International Exhibition. Tahere Tiki Tiki Tuatahi was a huge draw card at the exhibition, but once the exhibition ended and the carvings had been removed, the hull was left for some time on site, beside Victoria Lake in Hagley Park. Due to the concern of continued vandalism and the historical and cultural importance of the waka, an approach was made to transfer the waka taua to the Christchurch Museum. This was not agreed to by King Mahuta and Tahere Tiki Tiki Tuatahi eventually found his way home. Te Puya's childhood memories of the magnificent sight of this waka taua ferrying people on important occasions from Huntley Railway Station across the river to the King's Marae at Wahi, then parading in front of the visitors, was a major factor in her desire to have waka taua on the river again. Tahere Tiki Tiki Tuarua was built to mark the 50th jubilee of the Tūranga Waiwai Marae in 1973. The building of the Wakatauwa, the first made in the Waikato since the 1930s, gave Tohunga Tārai Waka Piripotapu the valuable and final opportunity to pass on his knowledge and skills to a younger generation. The Tōtara logs for Tahere Tiki Tiki Tuarua came from the Minginui Forest at Te Whāti and were donated by the Waikato Savings Bank and the PTY Company. Before selection began, Piripotapu performed a karakia seeking permission from Tane Mahuta to take the trees. Then permission was asked from the Ngāti Whare and Ngai Tūhoi people to enter their lands. Piripotapu chose four of his best carvers and instructed the oldest, Bill Tinney, on how to choose the tree. Feeling he was too old to walk into the forest, Bill Tinney shared, We went to the bush to select the tree, and the old fella said to me, All you got to do is you go into the bush and you see a tree. You have a good look at the tree. The first thing you must look at is the branch from the ground. If the first branch is dry, then that tree is no good. It's got a hollow inside, rotten. Will it rot from the bottom, I asked. Yes, it works its way up, he answered. Eight sound trees were eventually selected. Karakia were said, and the forest ranger marked them with paint for bushmen to fell later. At Ngārua Wahia, there were more karakia than the logs were unloaded on the riverbank. The waka was made below Tūranga Waiwai Marae, where a high manuka shelter was built in a sign no food, no woman put up. The carvings were done in the red carving shed in River Road and work on them started in May 1972. Tahere Tiki Tiki Tuarua is the first waka made in the Waikato for many years with the distinctive Waikato style of taurapa, one which is solid, not fretted. Rather than being painted black and red, the wakatawa was painted red only below the waterline and the rest being given a coating of clear varnish, thus retaining the natural colour of the wood. The colour scheme was chosen by Te Ariki Nui, Dame Te Atairangi Kahu. On the 13th of August 1972, Henari Tufangai chanted a karakia as he and Te Ariki Nui walked from the canoe house and through the crowds gathered for the ceremony to the riverbank where the waka had been put the night before, other ceremonies having been performed at about 1am. When asked what the name of the canoe would be, 
te ariki nui said, Tahere tiki tiki. The launching ceremony was preceded by a welcome on the marae to Sir Leslie Munro, president of the then Waikato Savings Bank, and a presentation to him of a four metre long model wakataua. After this, a new whare waka, built by the Lions Club to mark the Turanga Waiwai Marae Jubilee, was opened by the Ngāru Wawahia Lions Club President, Bert Latter. It's a story, young kid, when they were building Tari, and they had all the men from the Pahi, um, my dad's main role then was doing the carvings with all, all the other carvers uh, under Piri Potapu. And they had, had an old shed up here, uh, next, door, next door to the Kirkwood house. I was just looking at some of these photos up here. So was that where the whole uh, waka was carved, right in that one there? Out of, the, out of that, yes. Yep. Uh, and so it looks like there's probably a group of, what, 20 men? 20 men? Probably. Could have been more, but yeah, 20 men involved. Um, working eight hours a day to get it where it's at, at that stage there. Mm. Yeah. And so how did you get involved? Because you would have been so young. Uh, being on a marae, played around in the, on the river, played in the walkers. Tupane, uh, pretty boat up, it was a uh, master carver. Mm. And he'd tell you what to do and you go and do it. Was he the uh, like the main leader of the co Oh, yeah, I, mm. I, yeah, he was. Yeah. And so this is you, this young lad here? Yeah, that's me. And so how many left, how many left now from that photo? Five. Oh. I think I won't remember, yeah. What's this picture here? What's happening in here? It that's like Midawai. She's doing the... The kakao oh, of the back of the waka. Oh, right. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So everything was done on, on the river. On the river. Mm. Every mm. single thing mm. was done on the river. Mm.